What was your most favorite thing to do as a child? Running around in the park? Playing with your teddy bear? When I was a child, I loved playing with anything that was colorful. And similar to how I like colors, my childhood friend Eddie loved playing with cars, trucks, and trains. He would roll them here and there and made the most interesting sound effects and the most creative stories out of them. To me, he was super passionate, but adults called him different. As a child, I didn't understand what this meant, and it was only when I became a teacher that I realized, he, Audie, uh, that I realized Eddie may have been autistic. I grew up in a culture that has no tolerance for being different from the norm. The stigma attached to autism puts many parents in denial, and it is never really confronted. In the United States, the Centers for Disease Control states one in 59 children in the country have autism spectrum disorder. And in the current years, stats have shown an increasing trend. According to the US Department of Education, 576,000 students have been served under the Individuals with Disabilities Act in 2014. As a classroom teacher, I've met many children on the spectrum. And I came to realize that living with autism is simply just another approach to life. One of the challenges I encountered as a general education teacher was that I really didn't know what to do when I met students like Eddie. People kept on talking about education technology and assistive technology, but when it came to teaching, I really needed something that would help my students understand abstract concepts and apply it directly to real life. It's because in reality, I really struggled to make modifications that were effective. While researching the different types of technology that exist today, I saw the potential augmented reality had in helping students, like Eddie. For those of you who are unfamiliar with augmented reality, it's like adding a layer of virtual space onto what you are seeing right now. A common example of it could be Pokemon Go or Snapchat. And this type of technology is super helpful for kids like Eddie to apply abstract concepts in their actual life. And this is what I do now at A Project Lab. I create AR apps for education. As a designer and educator, one of the problems I want to solve is social transition. When it comes to social emotional learning, as teachers know, there's usually a lack of resources. Needs are always different and students are not very motivated to learn. In short, it's not easy. And so I'm developing a HoloLens simulation game to help students in middle school with special needs advance social interaction outside of the classroom. As students move from elementary to middle school, social dynamics change, and it becomes very stressful even for the student in the general education classroom. Now imagine how that would be for the special needs student. And so I wanted to create a way, a fun way, to help students like Eddie in social transformation. In my HoloLens game, the teacher sets up a learning quest where students are able to go into an experience that is customized to meet their special need. When they put on the HoloLens, they enter a space that shows a virtual layer like you are seeing on the screen right now. The main purpose of the game is for them to approach these characters, interpret the situation, and initiate conversation that is relevant to what they are seeing right now. As a development, um, my team has gone into the Volumetric Capture Studio to capture realistic models to create virtual characters that look like actual human beings, and we are using augmented reality to really make the learning more relevant for students. Experimenting with augmented reality has really allowed me to realize the untapped potential the untapped potential technology has in helping students like Eddie. I know my journey has only started, but I'm absolutely excited where this, where this technology will take me in education.